And welcome, welcome to another episode. This one is going to be fun. We're going to have an ability to learn a little bit of things. And welcome to the Feed Your Mind podcast. For all of you guys that are watching replay, don't forget to say hi and maybe put in what was the best part about it. Today, we are going to bring out my good friend of mine. He's actually a doctor all the way from Netherlands. But one of the biggest things that he focuses on, he teaches people and just helps people like adults suffering from extra pounds, energy uh, crashes, and just being sick all the time. So you can actually live an awesome life full of energy and health. And I know health is wealth. And a lot of us, we don't take it personally. And that's my topic as well. And I'm super excited to actually bring out our special guest. So welcome, Dr. Ben in the house. How are you doing, my friend? Well, Fantastic, man. It's nice to be here, Rob. Thank no, you. No, it's amazing. I think, again, like I said, with the, your knowledge, thank you so much for being here. And you guys get to learn so many different things. Myself, even, like I realized when I got into like business and information, everything else that comes up is we forget our, about our health. We are not proactive. And I think that's one of the biggest things. But let's start off. Who is Dr. Ben? I know you're all the way in the Netherlands. I know you have the guitars behind you. And, mm -hmm. uh, but let's just introduce uh, Dr. Ben. Yeah, I just got done. I, I just got done jamming literally 20 minutes ago with my band. I got, we're, we're, we're actively getting ready to, uh, to, to do a performance here in three weeks. And it's, it's really cool. Um, I, but that's just a hobby of mine. Uh, I've been a musician my whole life. I grew up, grew up around musicians. Um, and, uh, like you said, I know you talk about your son, how many instruments they play. It's, it's amazing thing that, that, that we're able to, to learn how to do that. It, it, my, my girlfriend said, she's like, I'm, I'm a weird person in that I have a very strong right brain and a very strong left brain. And I use both of them. She's like, most people are good in one or the other. If you're good in both, which, which I think helps, you know, I think there's many things I think that we apply ourselves to are, is an art as much as it's. Uh, a, a, a skill or, or, or something or, or root learning. I mean, anything you can make artistic. So, no, it's um, amazing. I know my son. My son, um, he doesn't have it after me. I am not an <laughs> instrument. Like, I can maybe play that little triangle. You, you are art. You are you are definitely an artist with many many things, man. Just, you know what I mean? Like the, the way that you can think about things, the way you process stuff. Think about all the like the way you you can dissect things and get to the points of. What, I mean, I could talk all sorts of things. I've, I've seen you that you are. A ninja at and being a ninja is definitely a form an art form dr ben you always complimenting me and you know like i i just want to again because the i think we're both a bit similar as well too it's just because we're in our passion is to help people and exactly. i think a lot of times people don't realize how important this health especially i mean you're in netherlands uh, I know I'm in Canada, but I'm originally actually your neighbor, basically from Poland. I, that's where I grew up and stuff. And obviously right now we have a lot of tough things that are happening in there. It's just a crazy world. We just went through, you know, the pandemic and everything. Like it's it's just crazy. But when you can't control certain things, you got to focus on the things you can control. And I think health is one of the things that you can control, but it requires a little bit extra work. And I know you help people, you know, like, realize those things and you probably i don't know hundreds thousands of people probably that you've been involved in personally yeah uh, thousands and thousands of people have helped yeah me. so what are some of the things like you know that you see uh, in your clinics and everything that's that you do in regards to health that it's just it keeps coming up like what are some of the things maybe we can share with audience yeah. again we're oh. here to feed your mind so <laughs> exactly yeah like if i could if i could summarize some things um well, you can, if ironcloudimmunity.com, what we do, what, one thing I've learned very specifically, I used to give people all kinds of advice, just like give you tips and tricks and all that kind of stuff. Um, but what I've really found is one of the number one major things that people need to do is you need, need to make a commitment to, to, to changing their health. Um, they need to do actual action steps. You know, it's like those little tips. We've all have little courses that we've done and we've all taken this idea. We, we go on a website. Uh, New Year's resolution. I'm yeah, gonna, that's what I was just about. I'm going to be different, right? Yeah. You know, we don't. But but let me let, let me put it to you this way: like, if I, I have, a, I'll, I'll give you a, a spit. It's just off the top of my head a specific example of like what this practically is. Yeah. So I have a patient, right? One of my favorite patients, um, and he came in. He was very overweight, right? He was he was he needed to lose a lot of weight, but he didn't really care about it until his wife 
had kidney problems. She had a long infection, long infection that went on in her body. And it basically shut down both of her kidneys and she almost died. She only had one. And the other one was failing. It turned out that he was a match to her body, right? Like he could give her one of his kidneys, but, the, but they looked at him and said, you're way too overweight. You're way too overweight. You need to lose weight or, or, you, or you can't give your wife a kidney and your wife's gonna die. Do you think he had a problem maintaining his weight? Yeah, yeah, he did. I mean, he struggled, but he, he maintained it and he was there consistently because he had a reason to commit, right? Uh, and we don't always have to have some, it's not, it doesn't have to be life or death, but for some of us, it, it is. Some of our, 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 the people we work with in Ironclad are, they're ready to do anything and they just need a plan that works and they're willing to help and, and, and we're willing to take them through that process. But thankfully, most people aren't, don't have to do that. They just have to make a real commitment. You know, they have to commit to a process and ask for help and, and not think that they can figure it all out on their own, right? Um, if, if, if I wanted to figure out a software program or figure out how to do some of the, the, the things that you know how to do, I, that's why I ask you when I listen to the advice that you have, because it's everyone has their areas of expertise. Mm -hmm. um, I know how to play music because I learned how to do it, but I'd get a guitar teacher if I really wanted to learn something specifically, right? If I wanted to build a house, I would ask someone to teach me how to build a house and how to put it together so it's not going to fall down and follow the rules, right? So, I mean, that, that's that's sort of the same thing. It's like asking people that know the path and, and following through on that. So that's that's one aspect of not trying to do it by yourself. We run Ironclad in groups specifically for this reason because it, it we build a community of people who want to live in a healthy way, and that helps. You're not by yourself. But I think one of the other thing that's super duper important, and this is a very experiential thing, um, is understanding the power of the moment in which you're in. Ooh, that, uh, I like that one. Can you repeat that again? That is that is powerful. The the that we so most people don't. One of the reasons why Ironclad's so um, interesting and different is that we kind of have a medieval philosophy to health, like how things used to be hundreds of years ago. Uh, is, is sort of one of the things that we profess. And we talk about, we call it ironclad presence. It's this idea that people are so detached from the present moment via cell phones and everything else. We used to be a, a society of people that would get up and spend time out in nature and we would look at things. We spend long periods of time in connection with our body. or So we use some meditative practices to learn how to build that back. So you have like a freedom, like you, you get self-discipline, you get awareness of why you react the way you do all sorts of things so it's sort of like you become awakened but but you also have a lot of power to decide like if you want to focus your mind on something and go through a task list and power through it you can really do that a lot of people think like well ironclad costs us time and it, it does some but they get so much more back in their focus and direction and how they feel and um, but really the idea is if i can break it down there is only this moment that you're in there is no future there is no past there's only this moment that we're in right now. And in this moment, we make decisions that will have consequences for the future. So what most human beings do is we drag the past moments and experience that we have into the moment that we're in. And then we project that in the future. And the problem is there is no past. It doesn't exist. It's just like an electrical storm in my brain. And there is no future either. There's only this continual moment that we go through. So we teach you how to access that moment in Ironclad and how to make changes and how to transform. So um, in this moment, we make a decision to change. In this moment, we make a decision not to. It's all about breaking it down to that moment. We procrastination is, oh, I'll do it. I don't have the time. I don't want to now. It's like it's like simply like this. Like in this moment that we're in right now, there's two possible, there's these two chains that's, that's split out in the future. One of those is a healthier version of you. One of those is a, maybe a drunk version of you. One of those is a version that has all sorts of diseases and another one's gonna avoid all that based on the decisions we make right now. And, and too, too many people live in automation and sort of automatic responses and they aren't really aware of stuff. And you need to be taken through a process of awareness to really learn those things and learn them really clearly. And if you don't go through that, you, you do what a lot of people do, yo-yo diets and not knowing what really works. And, and it, it isn't really everyone's fault because there's so many forces that are kind of working against you there. So, but that, that's a, those are two little tidbits for you. Present time consciousness and, and understanding the value of that. What you just said something, and I think this is something that I I learned about six and a half years ago when I got into my entrepreneurship my you know mindset. I worked in corporate for like 16 years. We have one big, big problem, like massive problem. We think we have all the time in the world. Mm -hmm. 
And what you said about like, you know, New Year's resolution, I mean, gym memberships go up in January, February, people, you know, quit because you know what it is? It's, it's the commitment. And like I said, if you're, if your why is strong enough, and a lot of times we're either, I mean, we're all either lazy or we don't want to do something about it. But this right here, that is our temple. Yeah, maybe you can have a hip replacement. Maybe you can replace certain things, but you can't replace your body. And people forget that. Right now, someone is healthy. They will not invest their time or money. Ah, it's too expensive. Talk to a person that is sick, lying on the bed. They'll pay anything. They'll do anything. They'll, you know, sell everything just to be healthy. But that's when we have to realize, and I love how you said that, you know, like we're in a different society. Uh, you know, we like I grew up in Poland. I was outside like almost 24-7. I was outside playing soccer, climbing trees, going up and, you know, going into the undergrounds of the castles and different things. Totally different than what the kids are growing up now. It's a yeah. lot of video games. Always like, like literally stuck into this. There's radiation. There's pesticides. There's all the things that we don't do. Like I, I focus as well, obviously on online and all the systemization automation, but I also specialize in hydration. And I think, yep. Dr. Ben, people don't realize how dehydration, maybe let's touch on this, how important it is to drink enough proper water every day. Because yep. I know people that drink five cups of coffee and they think, oh, I got a headache, I'm hurting. Well, we're over 70% water, yep. you know? So yeah, so that that is just, yeah, incredible. But yeah, let's touch on that one maybe. But yeah, no, and, and, and we, we talked about this. Uh, it's it's we talk about this a lot in the first week, and 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 that's not a coincidence that we talk about water in our first week. Um, it ironclad is as one of the beauties of it, it's super simple because it's returning you to how things are intended to be. Everything is really intuitive, just like you said, like drink more water, right? You know, we 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 try to want we want you to drink two liters of water a day. What kind of water we'd go into that there are there are differences between water not every water is the same right yep. um, some waters actually end up being maybe more detrimental than they are positive to you i think even the worst water is probably better for you than coca-cola is or something like that but but still there are definitely differences in why waters are important uh, it is a really important thing but i mean think about this let's let's talk for a second about like why why is water so important for your body to burn fat as fuel, it needs water. This is one of the reasons, yeah, people don't, a lot of people don't realize that you need extra water. It's, you know, if you've ever been like at the end of an evening, right? And you're, you want something sweet, try drinking a bunch of water. And be, it's really interesting because if you drink, you know, let's say uh, two glasses of water, wait five minutes and see if you want to eat that sweet thing again. If you notice that you really don't have the craving for something sweet again, what you really had was your body knew that if I eat this sweet thing, I'm going to convert that sweet stuff into fat and I'm going to get metabolic water as a, as a reaction of that. So really what your body, you've trained your body to and having a calorie rich thing that stores fat and I get some metabolic water from it, because it's learned, at least I'm not going to go like dry out and go thirsty, right? So it's, it's, it's so intelligent how our bodies work, but a lot of times, one of the number one reasons that we're hungry and we're not really hungry is that we're just thirsty and we don't realize it. Don't uh, there's a there's a good book uh, called, you know, you're not uh, you're not sick, you're thirsty. Don't treat, <laughs> don't treat your uh, yeah. I had it somewhere. It actually, yeah, don't True. treat your don't treat your uh, hydra dehydration with medication, basically and stuff. And that's what a lot of people, especially here in Canada, in the U.S., we're pill poppers. You have a headache, what's the first thing you do? Go get Advil, go get something. Yeah. But when you think about it, I think in Europe is similar. But when you said touch on base, like, you know, like when you and correct me if I'm wrong, but from what I learned, I'm actually a hydration expert as well, too. Like I've learned so much about it. Sometimes I have to listen to my own advice because sometimes we we'll forget that it is true. Like when you're thirsty, when you feel that thirst, you've been dehydrated for hours. Mm -hmm. And if you keep ignoring it, what happens is your body will give you a different signal, which is hunger. Mm -hmm. And that's what happens is your, your body produces, uh, yep. I think I forgot the scientific stuff for it, but you're producing that um, uh, inside of your stomach that tells you that you're full, basically. I mean, you probably yeah. know what that is, but Renin. there you go. See, I'm not a doctor, so but I do have a PhD. I do have a PhD. I just got to say, uh, do you know what my PhD is? <laughs> I have a public high school diploma. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so, so yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Most people <laughs> should have a public high school diploma, but yeah, no. But when you go to the hydration, a lot of people do snack at night. Like um, yeah. right now, I'm, I'm running one of the other Facebook groups. I'm helping out. It's like you know better, and there's and you know, different products and stuff like that that they 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 can help you promote that stuff. But one of the biggest things that people say is like you know how do I stop snacking at night? How do I lose fat? How do I lose weight? Uh, you know, they tried every diet there is. They tried everything. What are some of the things that they can maybe start with to get started? Well, obviously, drinking water is first, but what 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 can they start with? Yeah, no, well, that's that's a I I that is one of the most common things that I hear over and over and over again. We we seem to really um we there's two kinds of main oh, there's more than this, but there's sort of two sort of main clients. We get the client that's done everything and is like at the end of their rope you know, and, and, and what they all, and every, everybody says the same thing when they go through the, the ironclad gauntlet, they say, this is unlike anything we've ever done. It's, 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 they don't even quite understand it, but it's, it's cause it's about transformation and it's not about information, I guess. Yeah. It's a, it's a gauntlet thing. It's an initiation. It's like a, even has its own slang and terminology. And it's, it's really sort of like a, an, I don't know how it, an amazing process, but one of the things that they all say is, uh, I, I've done everything else before and I've tried all these different things yep. and nothing's really worked. And, and the reason it hasn't worked is they've been focusing on like specific food combinations or whatever all else, where what we say is we're going to take you back to the optimal, optimal diet of a human being. We're going to take you down. And when you actually eat that way consistently, we're going to show you what's wrong with the current society and eating and why you learned to eat that way and make it in a, in a way crystal clear for you. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to take you on the optimal human diet. And when you're on that diet, you experience a very different way of, of approaching food and let your taste change and all sorts of stuff. Your body starts to rework itself. Um, you learn a tremendous amount and, and why, and I, I can't go into too much detail about it because it, there is elements that must remain like mysterious. Um, for them to have the impact and powerful, uh, the power that they do. But that's one sort of group. The other kind of client is um, we get a lot of business owners who uh, understand, and you said this yourself, uh, that if I get sick, it's not just me. It, it's my company. It's the people underneath me. It's my family. Uh, my health uh, is so much more important than just me. Uh, other people rely on me. Um, I, I, even in the Netherlands where, where I live and I'm American, right? I grew up in the United States, but, uh, and I've worked, lived here for 12 years and everything, but like, um, there, there's, I believe that there was this great European system that helps. It helps the citizens, but not the business people. I mean, we're, I don't, there's no pension for me. I, if I get sick, I'm, I lose everything. So, um, I think most people, like you said this, we don't put enough emphasis on our health and, and when you are in that group, so we get the people who are really have tried everything and can't lose weight and are diabetic. We've, we've literally, every single diabetic client that we've had, we've reversed their diabetes. That every is single, incredible. Congrats. Every that single is, yeah. um, that we've had. Uh, and it's, it's, it's diabetes, these metabolic problems, not knowing how to lose weight. All this stuff is, 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 a, is a problem of current human. It's, it's not, it's because of how we live, our lifestyles, and mainly the things that we eat. We don't eat the things we were intended to eat anymore. Yeah, um, and, and it's, I think it's knowledge. A lot of it is if people had the knowledge, like the true knowledge, information. Like, you know, I have people yeah. come in, it's like, you know, they're, oh, I just learned this on YouTube. I'm like, really? Well, on YouTube, I just taught people, if you take milk, mix it with honey, add some cinnamon, put it on the sun for 30 days, you're going to get gold. And some people will believe this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's, it's, they're, they're, okay, over knowledge. Let me put, here's, I agree with you, but I also don't. And, why, why I mean this is that knowledge doesn't is, is in fact, especially in today's society where there's so much BS, there's so much misinformation, there's so much things that are true in some circuit. Like we transform everybody that we see and what works with us. And we, we don't, they aren't like exercising their butt off. You know, we don't have any sort of, ex you could do our program in a wheelchair because because it's about how you eat and how you think and how you transform in that direction, right? Um, so more knowledge isn't necessarily beneficial. What ironclad is, is it transforms you. 
that is it's, cool what you just said because when you think about like you know like and that's where i was coming from like knowledge wise yeah mm -hmm. knowledge is important but 80 percent of people buy courses anything they never go through it it's yep. about taking action towards what you're going to learn it's it's uh, experiential you have to do stuff right like you know this if you set a goal but you don't take any steps toward that goal you don't have, have any emotion you're never going to achieve the goal there's no such thing like, like a magical thing i press some buttons and make millions but that guy told me there's so many gurus out there there's a yoga coach and beer drinking coach and there's like there's so many experts out there so-called experts yeah. But it's right. It's like, who do you listen to? And I think like uh, you had so many people having results. One yeah. thing off topic, Dr. Ben, let's say if someone wanted to uh, just check out what program you have, is there a way to book a call with you or maybe something to have a conversation? Yeah. What um, is the best place to reach them? Yeah, so you can go to ironcladimmunity.com or dot. Oh, you have it right. You know, that's the link right there that yeah, you can yeah. see. Dot com. There's, there's a link on there to book a call. We also have a free Facebook group that people can join. Uh, you can reach out to me, Dr. Ben and Iron Fed Immunity. Yeah, we what we generally do, uh, Rafael, is, is we really like to to ask uh, somebody a few questions and go on a free phone call with them. I I don't. Not everybody's a, a good fit for what we do, and and there's so many circumstances and having worked with thousands and thousands of patients throughout the years. Um, I I I'm really good at figuring out like to try to give you just advice on the call pick my brain. Let me, let me figure out how I can help you for an hour, hour and a half, whatever, uh, on a free call. I don't ask, I don't charge for that. I probably should, but I don't. I, I, I think, you know what, I, that one, I'm going to disagree with you because I think when people pay for it, they pay attention, they take action. Uh, if we give free advice, there's a lot of free advice out there, but if you do charge for it, I know I pay, I had paid courses or yeah. I paid coaches. I have paid mentors that I paid a lot of money for I paid more attention than the person that is just giving me an advice. Maybe, maybe that's a good idea that I, I do that. Well, at least to this point right now, we, we haven't. But because um, most of the people that get referred to us, to be real honest with you, almost everybody comes via somebody else. Mm -hmm. Like because we're, we're kind of ex we're, we're, we're rather exclusive with who we work with. Because yeah. what, what are our, once you. OK, let me let me back up one second. Right. So <laughs> we have a terminology that um, that we that we go through and. One of the things that's ironclad makes ironclad really, really, really interesting is the way that it transforms people and people have to work through stages. So everybody starts off like right now, Rafael, you would be considered ironclad curious. You're just somebody that, that you, you, you're curious about what the program, everybody starts off in that same spot. And some of us hop in our Facebook group or ask questions or, or maybe join our mailing list or whatever. And you know, they get more info and, but everybody, once you decide to make the decision to get a breakthrough call with us, to go on a call with us, then you become what we like to call an ironclad uh, initiate. If you go through the process, you hop on a call, you decide, I want to enroll. Then you have specific steps. And then things really start to kind of turn up to you, turn up for you until, until the, the point that we start being an ironclad conscript. Now, an ironclad conscript is somebody who wants to really make the decision to change. So when you are in the gauntlet, you're a conscript. And when you graduate, you're an ironclad warrior and you become part of the community. And we've teach you how, we've taught you really how to live and how to transform and how to change. Um, so that's basically what we do. It's a three month process. Uh, it requires about five hours a week of your time. People get way more time back than that because of the way they're, like I, I said before, how focused, when you can focus and think clearly and when you watch your body change, you have, you're less obsessed, you, you're like freed from food. And all the other stuff that, that people have to deal with. So it's it's a it's a really really transformative, wonderful process to go through. Um, and it's I I know I've said a lot, but it, it isn't very specific, and it's not specific for a real specific reason. And that's because there's things that must be magical and and unique. It's a transformation people go through, and all the Ironclad Gauntlet members that have done it rave about it, and then they tell everybody else, and that's generally how we get our groups. Um, we've had a few people that have signed up, but most of the people come via via because what we're trying to build uh, is an international community of men and women who want to live like this, who want to live with the best health that they've ever had. Um, and, and that's, that's just really simply what we do. And then we support you going on forward. Um, uh, we have a continuation groups of people are a member of, we'd like to meet physically, uh, uh, in a, in what we call the ironclad round table and meet together and hang out. Once a year, um, COVID made that kind of difficult, but um, it's 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 what we do. Ironclad was originally founded to be a, an immune boosting program. Um, 
I can, I can, if you want, uh, I can tell you a bit more about like how I started it. Like, do you want to hear, the, hear that? Yeah, for sure. And if you guys see it right now, I just shared a little, you know, to share my screen and stuff like that. This is the website and stuff like that. You can actually schedule a breakthrough call. But I think it's, it's, uh, it's not about you. Like right now, if you guys are listening to this and hopefully you guys are getting so much value right now, just, you know, that this is the reason I started this podcast is because I wanted to share knowledge not just my knowledge but there are so many people out there that are helping other people or maybe it's a person that can help you uh, by the way i love castles i grew up literally from my elementary school oh, yeah. i had a i had a gothic 700 year old church i had literally yeah. there's another castle like i grew up in poland i miss it i actually gotta go for a trip yeah. there soon so but but the main thing about it is it's when you realize that you have that moment of you know like Maybe I should start taking care of my health. Maybe I did gain weight. I mean, we all go through those steps. Your life is stressful. You're dealing with stuff. But it's just that one decision and five hours a week to take care of yourself. You yep. invest so much time to take care yeah. of your car, to take care of everything else. That's it. Well, and that, that includes a, a group session with us. That includes a one-on-one -on -one session with us. It's a coach. You get a buddy as well. Yeah. You're, you're in a group, in a group with us to communicate and, and, uh, you can take, there's extra, extra stuff you can do. Um, you get some presents from us too, which is nice. Do but I get I, some presents yeah. from Netherlands? Do I get a castle? Yeah. <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> no, no, but that's you, awesome. you do get a treasure chest. Yeah. <laughs> you do get a treasure chest. No, well, no, I, I, I mean, I think it's just going back to basics. And for me, I know like when you have kids, especially, you know, you want to lead by example. You want to be able to actually mm -hmm. show them what is the main thing. Like if you. That's, yeah, it's very true. I mean, think about this, the, 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 the benefits of, I think we all could look back and sometimes we look in the mirror and we're not very proud of what we see. I know that uh, that's how, how Iron Tide started for me. Like I, uh, to maybe I, this is a good time to tell this. Uh, it's a little bit personal, but I, I don't mind sharing. Um, That's so probably up to you, but yeah. Yeah, man. But like, so five years ago, uh, I met this really wonderful woman and I was in love and we were going to get married. Um, and we had a miscarriage together and it was, it was really painful. And um, it, there was some stuff that went on in our relationship. It was really difficult. Uh, it really kind of really drove us apart. And so we decided, hey, well, we're going to, we're going to get pregnant together. And there were lots of problems with 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 the pregnancy and whatnot, and it ended up breaking our, our relationship apart. And um, I, I have a wonderful relationship with my daughter. She's going to turn four the first of April. But it ended my relationship with the woman that I was engaged to be married to, and it was really really painful, right? So here I am. I'm a doctor. I went to school in Wisconsin. I'm really, you know, I know all this stuff about health, but I was way overweight. I, I didn't look good. I felt terrible. Um, I looked in the mirror and I was like, who is this person? I saw pictures of myself that that's not me. That's not the person I recognized anymore. And I can blame the situation, the stress and all that kind of stuff. But the reality was I didn't know how to be healthy. I had all the knowledge and information. I'd done every diet that you can do, keto and paleo and carnivore and vegan and vegetarian and uh, uh, blood type. And, and I, I mean, I can go on and on and on about different things and fasting. And I'd learned a lot but nothing ever really was able to master what was going on. And, and the reason was I was looking for information and other sort of things, but I, what I really wasn't focusing on is how to transform. So what happened was I was taking a program about, uh, about human health. Um, and at the same time, I was going through another program for, through one of my mentors that had nothing to do with health at all. It was about becoming a better man. Now, I have a long history uh, of, of having different mentors. And what sort of happened was all the different mentors and, and things I'd done and courses and classes, everything kind of synthesized into this one thing, right? So I was dealing with this thing and I started to make these changes and make these connections in my brain of all these things that came together at once. And what I, what I, what I was doing was formulating the Ironclad program for myself. So it took me about two years to figure out exactly what really worked and why. And then COVID hit. So suddenly I was doing this myself and advising my patients to do some of these things, but you know, like little pieces here and there and, and nothing really ever clicked. And, 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 and what I realized was it's like, you asked me these questions. I could say, well, do this, drink more water. And then they would do that for a while and they would stop. And, and it, it never really clicked. And I'm like, well, what is the difference between me why does it, why am I consistently living this way? And they're, they're not. And it had to do with the combination of all the things that I did. So I started taking 
groups of people together and experimenting with them to see what really worked and what were the things that I was doing. And what I came down with is, is and what we made was the Ironclad uh, Gauntlet. It's the three month program that people go through. So it's, um, there are two basic components. One is we change the way you eat. And at the same time, we give you meditative mindfulness practices that teach you to harness the power of the moment that you're in. There are, there are five shifts. If you look at the website, there are five shifts that, that, that these people generally need, need to make. I can go through them really quickly. The, sh the shift number one is ironclad awareness. And this is the idea that I need help to figure this out. I need to, to, to do something to, different, that I, I'm ready to make a change. The second part of that, it, 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 that's ironclad honesty. The second part is ironclad awareness. And ironclad awareness is really simply this idea that what I'm doing now has effects into the future for me. That what we have to we have to teach you through the ironclad program is ironclad awareness. That you the effects people are so it's like everyone's walking around in this sort of dream state and they don't realize that that the things they're putting in their mouth have such effect for how they feel and how they're going to look. They really they know that but they don't really experientially know it. They don't realize that the, the reason that they have energy crashes and they, they lack focus, the reason that they feel cr like crap has to do with all this stuff. And they're living in this addictive cycle of eating unawares of what that really does to them. And so we break that process through you in an experiential way without you really understanding it. So while we take away your dependence on these chemicals or food or whatever, we give you meditative experiences that fill that gap for you. So you're able to really harness this power in a way, and we do it in such an interesting way that you don't really realize it happened. And as you go through the process, so the first part is to gain awareness of this. The second part is to learn to transform yourself. Like the first month is getting it down, and then you start to, 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 to move into the, the third shift, which is what we call the ironclad presence. It's what I mentioned before. You start to gain this power of will and discipline because you've built that up. And then we take things up to another level, for the, and then you're in the last month, and that's where we teach you how to live this way. We teach you how to make the decisions, and, and you, you start to learn to, to live and to be free. So if you could say the first month is to learning, that starts with an ironclad honesty, like, hey, I want to talk to you about how I'm doing and where I'm really at, and we do that on a call. Then you go through the first month of ironclad awareness, then you go into ironclad presence, and then you end with the ironclad way, how to live like that. Um, the, the, the fourth shift along the way is kind of a shift you get through the whole thing and it's, it's learning I can, really what we call uh, that food is fuel or that um, uh, eat real to heal is another way to look at it. We want you to, to figure out what, 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 what people used to eat. Really simply, what did people eat 200 years ago? Now, not every single thing is good. I mean, they ate some poisonous stuff because they didn't realize it. But for the most part, if you were able to go back to eating how things were 200 years ago or 300 years ago, you would you would avoid a lot of the disease processes because a lot of those diseases didn't exist then. You had other things that we that we know how to deal with, but you 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 didn't have diabetes rampant on stuff unless you were you know super wealthy or something. So um, that that's something I, I love the way you said. I actually wrote it down. Eat real to heal. That is crazy. Yeah. You're totally right. Look at it. We never had plastic. Plastic is one of the biggest things that people don't realize. We have bottled water, plastics that, you know, microplastic. Look what's going on in the ocean. Yeah. Uh, what's happening with all this stuff. But the way you describe it, again, guys, check out our website. There is a, a link uh, right below here because I, I know you have it set up. But sometimes it's whatever you look for. It, it's some days it's you have to find the right person to work with. You have to find that it's the right program for you. So you do your own research yeah. and set it up. But I think when you have a community of people that are encouraging you and you try something completely opposite, and I always say, if you've been doing the same thing over and over again, it's a definition of insanity. Do something different, 180, and eating and pesticides and you know all the vaccinations, everything that we had through, that's where all the disease comes from. I know in, uh, I think it was Dr. Otto Werberg in 1930s, they, he got a Nobel Prize for discovering that most cancer cannot um, uh, survive in alkaline environment. Yep. Everything that we put in our body, the process of acidity, that's, yeah. acidity, that's yep. where the inflammation comes. And from inflammation, you get all kinds of other things. And if you're not drinking proper water or if you're not taking care yep. of yourself and stuff, you're flushing, flushing yep. out the toxins. 
Yep, drinking drinking enough water, getting the the most people. If you think about this, uh, most people don't eat enough vegetation, vegetative matter. Like we used to eat a lot more vegetables because they were around then. Um, we, we we had a, a very different diet back in the day. We used to have a thing called gardens, like I do. I had a garden actually in the house in Vancouver. I like literally everything. Well, you know, another thing yeah. is think think about if you. This is a, another good example. Um, I'll give you an example of this, and we, we talk about this. We teach you how to eat in a way that also has to do with the seasons. So the way we explain things, and it's a little bit. I can give you a brief sort of sort of overview of it now. No, if you want to find out more, please book a call, <laughs> Dr. Ben. <laughs> Don't give it everything. <laughs> you know, and I, I think that's what I love about you, uh, Ben, like Dr. But, ben. But, but think about. Yeah. Let's think about it like this, right? I, I mean, how, why is it that our bodies can handle a large amount of carbohydrates? I mean, we can eat, we can drink a lot of beer, and we can we can have a lot of things. I mean, I like to drink beer. I, I like to have a good time. You know, uh, having a good time and having these moments of feasting is important, right? That's a part of our nature, right? Why do we have to have that? Well, think about it this way. Let's look at. Let's take this. Take a little bit of a step back. What does where does where do carbohydrates come from? So the sun. Uh, it's the sun's energy is 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 basically you know uh, taken up in chlorophyll in, in green plants, and then other animals eat that, or maybe the plant itself makes fruit, or makes grain or whatever, and then we extract that energy out either by eating you know the meat of of the animal that's eaten that, or we we eat the fruit of that thing, right? Or so the more direct the carbohydrates are, we can handle that, right? What are the times of years that you'll have lots of carbohydrates? Well, in the summer, maybe there's some fruit, but as you get into fall, all these squashes and berries and all these other apples and all these sorts of fruits that were available, it's basically the summer months is gathering all this sun's energy and then storing it, right? The problem is in our society, we have, we're always living in this like harvest season where there's everything available and all this wonderful stuff and everything else that you, you, could, you could want, which is wonderful. But we never go into what would be available really to eat in, in like, say, let's say, winter. You know, less uh, of that sort of stuff. In spring, what's available? Meat and eggs and, and, and vegetables, right? Green vegetables. So we don't eat anymore as nature intended for us to eat. What we eat are is this constant full go, full bore, everything. And then on top of that, chem chemical foods. And it's as far from what we could have as possible. And when you are you learn to eat that way, really as human beings intended, a whole world opens up for you and, and, and you transform. It's amazing. I, I think going back, like thinking, like I'm thinking back 30 years from now, if I told my grandpa, hey, I'm gonna get into a water business, I'm gonna sell water, mm -hmm. he will laugh at me because it's just different society, it's convenience. You know, for before, you know. People, if they have to wait two minutes for food, uh, you know, it's, it's too long, you know, like I don't have time for this. Cooking at home, a lot of people realize they have an oven during the pandemic because they, I'm like, shit, I, I can't buy nothing. I can't go to restaurants. I got to cook at home. What is this thing? It's an oven, you know? So a lot of times it's convenience. We're busy, we're more busier. We're more stressed out, even though we have technologies. But the food that we eat right now, the, 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 the way they produce fruits and vegetables, it's mass produced. I can tell you a story. My buddy, uh, he drives a yep. truck and he used to tell me stories. He would go to California, pick up strawberries green strawberries they will go in with literally hazmat suits spray some foam close it up two days later he arrives the strawberries are green uh red you know the taste of it it sometimes it's tasteless it's just how it looks it's for looks it doesn't give you the same nutrition and another thing is and i think this one will be awesome to touch on base really quickly is your colon this is where the nutrition comes through is that correct mm. so if your your colon like inside yeah, colon, yeah. That's where the nutrition gets absorbed. And a lot of times we don't drink enough water. We put our garbage in it and it actually, it's, there's not enough antioxidants and it's actually absorbs and it's uh, actually colon is negatively charged. And if you're putting all this garbage, positive stuff, it sticks to the walls and now you're not getting the nutrition through the walls. So you got to yeah. get rid of this. Like we're literally, some people don't even go to washroom regularly because of yeah, that yeah. garbage we put in. Well, it, it's, it's people don't, uh, people don't understand yet. Have you, you know, the tube within a tube concept? No, I don't actually. No. No. Uh, so let, let's take this, this, uh, any sort of, a, here's a glass here, right? Okay. So there's, there's a tube within a tube, like something comes in this side and it goes out the other side, you know, your mouth and your anus. 
But in between that is, is this other tube. So if you think about it, there's that something goes in one tube and it's going to go out into our bodies. So we don't ever think about this. Like one of the things that I, I think about, I'm going to ask you this question and people always talk about, you know, they're, they're always washing and sanitizing things and all that sort of stuff. But you realize that there's this, just I want you to imagine this dark, warm, like hole. And you're just going to start throwing every single chunk of food that you eat in there. And you're going to throw it in there and you're going to throw it in there. You're going to chew it up and you're going to spit it into this hole. And you're going to keep doing that over and over again. You're never going to wash it. You're never going to clean. In fact, if you did clean it, it would die. And that's your mouth. And, and, and the other exit is your anus. And so people don't realize that how important the things you put in here, how it changes that. And when you really put the things in there that are meant to be put in there and you stop putting the things in there that aren't, it changes that whole process. So all these people have these weird, uh, for us, they're weird, you know, intolerances and, and colon, colon issues. And because they're, they have this huge inflammation going on inside their body because they're immune system is constantly fighting against this stuff that they're not supposed to have. Uh, we, we get all sorts of people that can't eat all these things and they don't realize that their body is so inflamed with everything that it needs to heal. So the, this, this, the colon is a big, is a big problem. The colon is, is one of the main reabsorbers, but a lot of times if things aren't properly digested because you're eating the wrong stuff, or you've got such a weird flora going on because you're eating way too much sugar, or you're eating these other things that just aren't meant for you to eat. And the other thing in, that's really interesting, Rafael, is that not everybody's diet is the same, right? Everyone has a different sort of chemistry makeup depending on what they like, and people are drawn and propelled, you know, pushed away from certain things. So what exactly your ideal diet is going to be different? We teach you to go through this process to figure out what yours is, but it really does boil down to that. This understanding that if you keep putting the right stuff in here, the right stuff is going to come out on the bottom, and you're going to feel in your body, the, the, the outside tube, the benefit of all that. So it, it and water is in like you said an essential part of that. But also it's it's one we have through the ironclad uh, a course we have what we call edicts. And edict is sort of like a rule, and and there's many of them that we teach you to keep it simple. But one of them is that it's more important to give your body the stuff it needs than to worry about giving the stuff it doesn't. So most of the people are too focused on I, don't, I shouldn't eat this and I shouldn't eat that. No, no, no. You should, you should eat these things. Eat these requirements. Eat these things that you're supposed to have. Then don't worry so much about the rest of the stuff. As long as you give yourself what your body needs, it's going to have the support the liver needs to detoxify that stuff. It's going to have the water that it needs to flush all the crap out. Your body's not going to retain the fat because it's got enough food. You don't want to starve yourself, but you don't want to also have too much, right? Or you want to have the right enough of the right stuff so your body can do what it needs to do. So it when you start to really, really switch and your system switches like that, it's, it's really wonderful to watch what it does for people and how, how they really physically transform and, and not only physically and in their bodies, but also with their health, how they feel. I, I did an experiment um, around Christmas where I went back to my old ways that I had years ago, just for like a, a couple of weeks, you know, I felt like terrible. I felt terrible. I mean, and it wasn't like I, I'm, I'm very healthy, but I did not feel good. And what I really realized was I wrote a really good post about this in our Facebook group about how terrible I felt, how I, I felt it, it affected me emotionally, man. Like I was I was not confident. I, I was I felt uh, ashamed. I felt like uh, depressed. I was seeking out it, it just I didn't want to be active. I just wanted to be lethargic. I it really, I, I didn't feel like life had no meaning. And it was just, it had a hundred percent to do with the things I was eating. And I knew it was that when I stopped doing that, I immediately felt better. And I also stopped doing the things that support myself and all that, and, and, you know, and, and I, I really went back to where, the way I was living for two weeks and I could not wait to get back to, to, to the normal lifestyle I have because it just wasn't me anymore. So I, 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 you know, you hear all these things about medications and all that sort of stuff. Sometimes we need them, but I mean, there are so many different ways to live your life. When, when you really change that, 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 those things together, it transforms you. It really does. And, and I'm, I'm so blessed and grateful to be able to not only learn this and be able to live that way myself, but to help the other people in the Ironclad Bomb. And, I love I love your passion, the way you have it set up. Like it's, it's, it's incredible that we don't even realize how much power we have. Like even, you don't have to be a doctor, obviously, you know, you know like it, it helps, but at the same time, like, 
I learned this a while back too, and I love the way you described it because again, it it speaks passion because when you see that something can just be switching just a little bit, learning something, you implementing something that can impact your life and someone else. Like my one of my biggest things too was when I actually started out, and uh, you know I always want I always played sports. I you know I played stay active and everything else like that too. But my thing is when I had my two boys was like. I want to be able to run around with them still when they get older. I want to be able to go parachuting, bungee jumping when you know they're turning 20, maybe when they're even with the grandkids. But if you don't take the decision to step into it right now, too, is that's what I, I, I I'm passionate about the power of your word. The the you can hurt someone's and change someone's life by saying something wrong to them. Or you can change their life by just impacting them. And then I'm just going to touch really quickly something that has impacted me uh, just a few years ago when I started online marketing. Um, I took the time, you know, just there was a lot of people struggling. I, I talked to hundreds of people. There was a lot of people coming in. And one thing that sort of just stood out was that we had a uh, had one person. They said, you know what? I just lost my mom. I'm struggling, you know. And I literally just, I had time. I'm like, let's just hop on a quick call. So I hopped on a call with him and just talked to him and give him one of the books that I love, Happy Pocket Full of Money, which basically give him the audio ball that he can listen to. I said, listen, just listen to the book. You're going through tough times. It will get better, I promise. Like five minutes. I've done it multiple times. Two weeks later, I get a message. Hey, Rafael, I just want to say thank you so much. And I'm like, awesome, no problem. He goes, no, Rafael, I owe you everything. I just want to say thank you. Remember that time two weeks ago that you hopped on the call with me, that you care, that you took the time without even knowing who I am because of you, I lost my, you know, not because of me that he lost the mom, but because I lost my mom because I'm in such a shape, shape, bad shape because of you, I didn't commit suicide. That right there made me realize that it is my responsibility to go and basically spread the word, help some other people because you don't know what you say can save someone's life. What you do can impact someone's life. And it's not just their life, their family mm -hmm. life, people around them and stuff like that. So that's where my passion came through. I'm in a, pos I'm in a position to pass it forward, to pay it forward. Mm -hmm. And when you, that's why I love talking to people like you because you are helping people realize what is actually possible. Realize that health is possible. Yes, maybe you're depressed, maybe you're in the worst shape ever, but it's not over. You can do this right now by making a decision. So yeah, if, if you if you reach out and, and every single ironclad warrior has gone through the same process of saying, hey, I need to talk to you guys. Yep. Uh, I'm going to be honest about and I'm going to get in a call and we ask questions like, what are you struggling with? What do you, what's going on with your health? What can we help you with? And and they, they have an honest, honest assessment. And they, they just open up and they say, hey, this is this is where I'm at. Am I a, a good fit for you guys? Not everybody is. And if you're not, that's cool. We still even give people insights into that. Well, this would be a better thing for you to do, or this is what you really need to work on. Or if you are a good fit for what we do, then we'll say that too. And we'll, we'll work, talk about working forward with you. But that's, that's the number one step everybody has to make that, that admission of, Hey, I'm ready. I want to do it. And I want to do it now. I'm ready to do it. I don't want, I'm not going to procrastinate it. I'm ready to figure out right now what I need to do. And that starts with a phone call. It's super easy. Some people, and I, and, you know, some people I, I know maybe might be listening, but like, well, I, I want to know a little bit more. Totally fine. Hop in the Facebook group, hang out. We start and actually, you know, right now uh, we're starting in a, in a couple of weeks with one of our with our newest group. So so that was a great time to chat. With maybe them. I maybe I should uh, be I, I want to be an ironclad warrior, you know, so Hop on I call, might have to chat because, you know, what? like Hop sometimes. Even though we you're have, the, you're the kind of you're definitely the kind of dude we want, Rafal. You're you're like because you're not normal and you love to help and you, you are freaking awesome. So, it, yeah, it, we, no, I would love to have you in a group with us. Testimonials and stuff like that. We'll we'll definitely chat afterwards. Again, wow, this is we've been here for 50 minutes. This is like one of the longest interviews, but it's just a conversation. Sorry, and if you guys are listening to this point, uh, again, thank you. Uh, you know, hopefully this uh, i'm going to be doing way more of those calls i just literally just started out more and more people i booked so many amazing incredible people just like dr ben here is that are love the impact you know like the i mean like i was thinking when i was first designing the podcast i'm like where am i going to call it you know like and i was like thinking like what what happened over my like six and a half years of my journey of being online well first thing when i started out is i didn't read i never read a whole book in my life 
And then my mentor says, you want to make $10,000 a month? Go read a book. I'm like, no, I w- I'm going to work hard. I'm going to do this. You just tell me what I need to do. I work 24 seven. I won't sleep. I'm going to, he goes, go read a book. And I'm like, listen, you don't understand. I don't want to read books. I want to make money and I want to work hard. And he goes, you don't understand. Go read a freaking book. And mindset, I think is the most powerful in anything that you start. Yeah. That's why I feed your mind. If you don't, if you find that your mind is, you know, like uh, if you your mindset is not good, no matter what you do, you're not going to succeed. Because if you want to make a decision, that's your mindset. If you want to be personal development, if you want to be in better health, if you want to, it comes from mindset. Yep. Uh, so. yeah, yeah, you'll, we, we've, I've been blessed to be trained by some, some of the best mindset coaches. Uh, we work with mindset coaches in Ironclad. It's, it's essential because it, it really is. It's where it starts. It's where it begins. Changing your frequency, how you feel, it, it really boils down to, you know, especially when you're going through the the, the steps to break your, uh, I don't say addiction, but to break your dependence on 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 foods and chemicals to change how you feel and to to learn how to do it with your mind and maybe breath work and other things that meditation practices that aren't that anyone can do. Um, it, it's it's interesting. You get a lot of people are like. We have two sorts of, on the meditative thing, we have two sorts of groups of people that come in and out. You have people that are experienced people with meditation and practices. Even then, get they get run through different stuff because they they just, they have to experience all sorts of different things because we, we really do mix it up. Um, and and the other person is the, the more standard person who's like, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I can't, med- I don't know how. I don't know how to meditate. You know, no, like, I can't. Is how can I? Like, uh, you know, I hear that a lot. It drives me crazy. What do you can't? You know. What well, I mean? we'll, we'll do one. We'll do one right now. Okay, you ready? So, what we're gonna do is you're gonna take a deep breath in, right, and breathe all the way out. And now breathe in. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. Two, three, four, five. Breathe out. Two, three, four. Five, hold, two, three, four, five, then breathe in, two, three, four, five, hold, two, three, four, five, then out, two, three, four, five, hold, two, three, four, five, then breathe in, two, three, four, five, hold, two, three, four, five, then out, two, three, four, five, and you are done. And my brain just got the most oxygen <laughs> in the last few yeah. days ever, okay? but it's that simple. And it's like, you know, that, that's, that's, that's box breathing. That's the first, one of the first things we start people with. It's what uh, SEAL teams use to calm their minds in times of stress. They learn, they just get this built into their system and it connects, it, it really correlates brain and body in a, in a structured physical way. It's Anybody can do that. Meditation isn't hard. It, it just brings you into the present moment where you're in. And in that moment, you're, you, have an, you have a power to be aware of what things are happening to you. You have a power to make changes. Yeah. The thing is, it's being grateful is another thing. Every morning when I wake I up, first thing I do is I open my eyes and I say, thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you. Why do I say thank you? Is because you just woke up in your life. Some people don't have that, like you know. Or when you put your feet off the bed, I was talking about this on the other podcast. Is that you know, like be grateful you have legs. Some people can't walk. Be grateful that you can breathe. Mm-hmm. Be grateful that you can have, see. Be great. Like there's so many things you're grateful for. Uh, one of the books I don't know if you, Doctor Ben, you touched on is uh, the Magic by uh, Rhonda Bryant. She's the one that wrote the Secret. There's a 28 day exercise. Uh, remind me, I will uh, send you the link uh, for Please. you to check it out. It's the best book. That's what I started out with, two books. One was Happy Pocket Full of Money, which I'm like, yeah, okay, Happy Pocket. Woo, you know, the name doesn't justify it. Then it started. I started learning inside there about quantum physics, how universe works, how you cannot distinguish the difference between reality and fiction, and your mind is what you think you attract, yep. uh, you know, or, or gratitude and stuff like that. When you're grateful, when you put it out there, it's like more things come your way. So, so imagine if you can take that, the power of quantum physics, and then also combine that with a, a, a physical way of eating combined with a mental goal for yourself. Yep. And you know how to talk to yourself and build that into yourself. Incredibly powerful. And you know what? Even just 
water. Like, I don't know if you've seen, yeah. uh, I forgot the name of the Japanese doctor. Yeah, and, the, the, the water experiment. Yeah, the yeah. water experiment. Like, your water, like, you, yeah. if you have bad vibe, like, you know, even if that's yeah. why the water in nature, two, three hundred years ago, you can drink it from the stream. It's natural and stuff like that. That's why I like, I got into uh, learning about water. And, you know, if anyone is. Do you know uh, the Ho'opo Ono Ono? No. What's that one? <laughs> you don't know what Ho'opo Ono Ono is? No. Look it up. Okay, well, you're gonna have to send it to me because I don't even know how to spell it. <laughs> I'll send it to you after this. Ho'opo Ono. It's Ho'opo Ono Ono is is a is a is an energetic cleansing thing from Hawaii. Mm -hmm. It's a very interesting story. You drink blue water with it. They want you want to drink water that's in a blue container that has the blue color in it. Yep. But it's basically like I think it's four statements. I think it's uh, uh, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. And it's it's an interesting story about this uh, uh, this Hawaiian uh, therapist who started working at a, a mental hospital, basically. And he hoopa ono onoed, and by the time he was done, he had all of the basically they closed the mental hospital. And what he did was, so he would come into a room with somebody else who was attacking or angry, or aggressive, and he would say this to himself. He would say. I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. And to the other person, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to the person, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. And what he, was, he would say, he would look at their file and he would think, God, this terrible person, how dare they did all this stuff? And he would say, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, you, you check check it out. It's a fantastic. Yeah, I'm, look, I'm looking for it. It's like that the memory one. That's a, that was yeah. a good one too. That they were. It's an energetic clearing technique that that allows you to transform. And what he did was he transformed himself the way he saw all these other people, and then they transformed them, themselves as well. We're all energy. Like people don't realize, yeah. we're all energy, and it's it's the vibe. The like when I was watching this documentary again, I forgot the name, so I have to look it up. But you guys, welcome to message me. I'll send it to you. But uh, it was basically were freezing water and there was like bad energy and vibe and stuff like that. And the crystals were either like nice, beautiful or this in form. I yep. couldn't believe it. Yep. And then then the way they described it is the water that comes to you. If you live, let's say, in an apartment and there's bad energy, people are fighting, arguing, that water flows and he listens to it and hears that energy comes through. By the time it gets to you, it, it's it's like hor it's not even water. I call it liquid, you know, because mm -hmm. it just comes to you. But when you have water and you're grateful – even in Bibles and all the, you know, like I'm Catholic and there's a lot of things. Every time you have to say thank you for the food, be grateful. That goes back years in Egyptians, in, in Buddha, like all the different studies. It, same thing comes up, gratitude, being grateful, saying thank you, you know, to the food and, and all the other stuff. Is Why do we do that? It's because gratitude produces good energy. So that's yeah, what, another. One of my mentors said, uh, this is this is also a thing we teach you in, in it's a part of the thing of an ironclad. What you think about, you bring about. It's really think. So if you if you start your day with gratitude, you have more things to be grateful for. You know? If you and what you think gratitude. about, you attract. You know, like that's, yeah, that's, what you think about, you attract. You, what you think about, you bring it about. What you think yeah. about, you bring about in your life it becomes reality for you. Absolutely. No, that's Man, amazing. That's awesome. I, I love this, dude. This no, no, that's this. Can was we do awesome. this every week. <laughs> you know what? We might have to. We might actually hop onto your Facebook group and chat there, or maybe we'll do it just live. You know, like every single time we come out here, guys. So if you guys have got some value, again, Dr. Ben, thank you so much. This is one hour. This is like my longest conversation <laughs> I had, and we it's amazing. Ahead, uh, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta take up another few minutes, and you got a full hour, a full hour. <laughs> no, we're ready. We're gonna hit an hour. Don't worry. Uh, one of the biggest things. But again, guys, if you guys are struggling, maybe with weight, maybe you know, like diet, that diabetes, yeah. obviously. You know, I'm not a doctor, so I don't, can make med medical claims myself, but go back to basics. Go back to, you know, to your health. You know, if you're struggling, if you're doing something, you know, reach out to one of us. We'll be able to point you in the right directions. Dr. Ben, there's a link right above his name, too. Go check it out. Book a call. You can, right? you can go to, if you go to www.ironcladimmunity.com backslash apply, you can also book a call with me directly. Yeah, it's right on the site here. So when I, when I actually, I had it on the page before. You backslash apply, you can book a call with me directly yeah, as well. There's, 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 right there's, on the on there. there's links on there. Yeah. It's the yeah. easiest yeah. thing is to just, is to, is to just um, hop on a call. Oh, and, and there, the important thing to understand, I think about these calls is that, uh, what we're going to do on this call is you're going to get a question list, a short question list to fill out. We're going to ask you some simple questions. And what we're going to do in that call is we're going to try to get down to figure out exactly what your health situation is. 
and what we can do to help you and what, what you're struggling with uh, and really give you a lot of value. People love to be on these calls. It's just similar to like we're, we're doing, except it's a little bit more in depth with you. And it's all about you and what you're struggling with and how you've been doing. And and then if if you are happen to be a right fit and you want to join what we're doing, we can talk about that too. But the main focus isn't isn't ironclad, it's you. It's about what's going on and, and how can we listen to your story. Like you said, what are you struggling with? And, and sometimes people aren't a good fit, but they really love the call process because we just we wanna we wanna serve you. We wanna figure out what we Every, everyone everyone cares about the health. Everyone wants to do it. Like you know, we should every time you get a winner, we get to celebrate. Watch this. Because that's how we celebrate. And, you know, like one of the last things, since we just reached an hour, we're going to talk about water. Dr. Ben, are we going to have a little bit of fun? Because you know what? How many of you guys remember this movie? Oh, my God! going to kick some names and take some ass! Bobby! Water sucks. Gatorade is better. Right. Use it on the field. Gatorade not only quenches your thirst better, it tastes better too, idiot. You're, you're, you're drinking the wrong water. Gatorade. H2O. Gatorade. H2O. Water sucks. It really, really sucks. Water sucks. No, it really, really sucks. You don't mean that. You're bad people. <laughs> 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 If you haven't checked out this movie, The Water Boy, um, um, yeah, it's it's incredible. But a lot of people don't realize water is important. So go out there, go drink water. If you don't know how much water to drink, on average, every 50 pounds of weight. Uh, if you're in North America, it's one liter of water roughly. And not just eight glasses of water and everything else. But anyways, yeah, we'll probably do it again because uh, we, we have so much to talk about. We can go on for hours and hours. Uh, we did reach an hour, so we'll just leave it at that, guys. Thank you so much for being here with us. I really appreciate it, Ralph. I want to thank you, man. I really appreciate you uh, giving me a, a chance to, to, to connect with you and talk to you. And, no, yeah, this, is, this is incredible. Like, you know, like, I mean, if you look look at this stuff, look at this. This is the water boy. There you are, man. <laughs> <laughs> My graphic designers and creators. That's me. I'm the water boy. <laughs> I just actually so yeah no for sure and again guys thank you so much for being here and appreciate your support and listening hopefully you can take one thing out of this whole uh, episode and just implement it that's all i ask from and then help others too because you know what you're in a position to just help share your story to be able to help others so we'll see you guys on the other side and again rafael and feed your podcast is out